Hello paddlers. I'm back for my 2024 season on the water and it has been just about the longest winter I've ever endured in the Midwest in my life. I'm far from home. I'm just north of New Orleans on the Cane Bayou. Um, if you've heard me talk about why I need a portable kayak in the past, this is exactly why. I flew southwest here, can't bring a hard shell kayak, rental kayaks are crap, and I have the coolest friend in the world that lent me his track portable skin on frame kayak. So give me a couple of minutes, I'm gonna put it together and I'll show you what it's like. There it is. It's really kind of simple, actually. It's an aluminum frame for the front part of the boat, aluminum frame for the back part of the boat, seat, combing. Simple, right? There it is. Ta-da! Well, here we are. I've got it all together on the Cane Bayou. Someday, when I'm really efficient at putting one of these together, I'm going to make a time-lapse video. Um, but that day is not today. It took me longer than I care to admit to get this thing all right. I had a little bit of trouble getting the combing in because I stretched the skin first. Anyway, um, it's together. And for as long as it took me to get this thing together, I better see some gators in this bayou. Hey, girl. Hey, how's it going? Hi, in the French Quarter while in New Orleans and I crossed the Lake Pontchartrain uh, causeway to get here. I'm on the north side of Lake Pontchartrain. I think you really have to cross the causeway to really appreciate the vastness of Lake Pontchartrain. It's 700 square miles and if you put that in Wisconsin perspectives that's like three and a half Lake Winnebago's. I'm actually in New Orleans for Jazz Fest, but uh, that doesn't start till tomorrow, and I can't be here for four days and not paddle, so brought the boat with. Is that Gator? I just saw my first gator. Sweet. Maybe I shouldn't have the camera pointed to me. Dang it, I wish he was just like lounging, but I just saw him like chilling, coasting along. not my first rodeo paddling with the gators. I can't say I'm really seasoned, um, but I've paddled in north central Florida with gators and some manatee. That was really cool. Um, and I paddled with gators when I was here in Louisiana two years ago. I was only probably about two miles from Lake Pontchartrain at kayak launch so I could see Lake Pontchartrain up ahead. Well, this is where I turn around. I have no desire to paddle that big open water. A lot of folks in the Midwest think I'm kind of nuts for wanting to paddle with alligators. And I think that's just because most of us in the Midwest are totally clueless of large reptilian behaviors. And why would we be familiar with them? I mean, our largest reptile is a snapping turtle. Alligators actually very rarely attack people, usually only if they're provoked. 
and they're only aggressive during mating season. Oh, which happens to be now. But far be it for me to interfere with any reptilian courtship rituals. I wouldn't want to be a crock blocker. Cool. Last time I made a video was January 7th. I paddled a nice winter paddle in Wisconsin. That was about a week before my bilateral knee replacement surgery, if anybody's been following along. Um, apparently a lot of you are because I've had a lot of well wishes and I gotta say I really appreciate it. How did my recovery go? Um, bilateral total knee replacement is not for wimps. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm good now, but it was, it's been a rough road the first, you know, two, two and a half months or so. But I can assemble a skin-on-frame kayak, I can get it in the cockpit, and life is good. I appreciate all the wishes. If you head out to paddle the bayou solo, you darn well better have GPS tracking you on your phone because I think it would be really easy to get lost out here. Um, just back there, I couldn't remember if I was to stay left or right, so I looked at my GPS. It turns out eventually I'd end up in the same place, but um, yeah, this probably isn't really a place that I want to get lost. Not that I ever want to get lost. So the bayou can be really weedy. Yeah. I was just assaulted by some seaweed. No worries. I hope to be paddling two or three times while I'm in the New Orleans area in this skin on frame kayak and I'll talk a little bit about this boat a little bit more um, as I get a little bit more efficient at putting it together and learning the boat and its ins and outs a little bit better. As far as I'm concerned, so far anyway, of the portables that I have paddled, um, this is by far the best quality and the best performance uh, portable kayak I've used. Um, but I, I don't have a, um, a breadth of experience in portables. I've paddled an Oru, um, that's one of those origami kayaks. I've paddled a, a single and a tandem. They're actually kind of okay for what they are. I, I just think I want a little bit more in a boat. The only inflatable I've ever tried was probably in the $500-ish range. And that was like a glorified pool toy to me. Um, it, it has its time and place in life, but it just wasn't the boat for me. Anyway, I am seriously contemplating getting one of these skin on frame kayaks. This one here in its pack is about 66 pounds. Oh, probably a good 12 pounds of that is the pack itself. The next generation of these boats, instead of an aluminum frame, they've upgraded to carbon and the whole deal is something like 8 10 pounds lighter um, and a lot easier to put together from what I am told. 
I really want to get one. Uh, a little bit out of my price range right now. Maybe if I found one of these used, it might be an option. But so far, I'm really impressed with this track. Skin on frame kayak. skin on frame portable kayak adventure is in the books. I hope to get out two or three more times while I'm in the New Orleans area so stay tuned. I'm gonna get a little bit better at navigating this boat and have some longer adventures coming up in the next couple of days. If you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss any of those next adventures. It's been a long winter and this was awesome even though it was a really short paddle. Thanks for coming with. See you next time.